Bright Suns, everyone. And welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. <laughs> Today, we are in Batuu in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios taking in all things Batu today. What's new in Batu? What's new mm -hmm. What's in Batu? <laughs> this is going to be a really big vlog. There's a lot that's going on here. A lot has come out since the Star Wars convention out in Han Anaheim. Things have premiered, so we're going to check out new merch. Yes. We're going to Doc Ondai's in the Marketplace. Yes. There is brand new uh, treats that have come out, so Ooh. you know we're going to try those out. Maybe we'll see some people from Star Wars. I don't know. We're going to be on the hunt. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come along with us as we explore. We just flew across place. We've landed here in Batu, and where do you go when you first land on a planet? The marketplace, right? What a better place to immerse yourself, meet the locals, and go shopping. Let's do it. Well, it's not exactly a new update for the marketplace here in Batu. One thing that we did want to show that is a don't miss, you got to check this out, is there's actually like a game stall that's lo located very close to the carvers where you can learn how to play Sabacc. And if you've never played Sabacc, it is a very legendary Star Wars card game. Basically, the whole goal of it is that you, you get cards and you're trying to get as close to the number 23 as possible, but no higher. So it's just really neat. Like they'll teach you how to play the game. It, it's, it's usually played very high stakes in the, in the Star Wars uh, uh, galaxy. So if you're a poker player you, and want to immerse yourself into Batu, you're gonna you're gonna want to check out Sabacc. So just just check it out. It's a lot of fun. Inside the creature stall, we're checking out two brand new items that they've just premiered. These are lightsaber pummels, also known as, they're basically like, you can put them at the end of your lightsaber hill. But they're kind of cool, like they have a cord, so they're, they're carved, and they're limited edition, limited release. So you have a cord here, you also have a wampa, so no matter what you're a fan of, I kind of like the wampa, it's pretty neat. But it's cool, like, so they have these little kind of stands on the bottom of them. And you just unscrew it, and you screw this on the end of your lightsaber, and you kind of have like a cool little thing to showcase the, uh, the Star Wars character that you love best. Which one do you like? What do you think? Uh, you know. You know the pork. The pork, yeah. Yeah, I just can see that. <laughs> so if porgs and wampas weren't your flavor, they have two other lightsaber pummels. Check this one out. So you have a Rancor, which we all know the Rancor has been pretty popular here recently. And they also have the Lobcat, which is in the little cage in the front of the creature stall too. These are all $24.99. So in the scheme of like how much the lightsabers are going for, I don't think that's terrible. So there's four that you can collect and they're all limited edition. So of course they're gonna, gotta get in there. You gotta get them. But how cute are these? These are a lot of fun. Next in the marketplace, we're stopping into Cat Sokka's Kettle to try out a brand new addition here to Batu East. It's been out in Batu West for a little while, and we have been really anticipating trying this out. This, I know, I know. It's a cold brew black cat. So it's basically cold brew coffee from Joffrey's, but they put a special like cream cheese topping with oh, yeah. chocolate cocoa puffs. Like how awesome does that sound? It's $5.49 for the non-alcoholic version, but if you're looking to get a little adulty, they have a, they have a spiked version, which literally just has the name spiked tacked on the front of it, that has a Godiva chocolate liqueur added to it. That one's $14, but I cannot tell you how long we've wanted to try this. It looks so good. Let's go grab one. I am so excited to try this. I've seen this online a long time ago, and I was so bummed that it was only in Disneyland and not in Disney World. So thank you, Disney World, for bringing this here. Oh, yes. Yes, 
this, yes. That is so good. It is Joffrey's coffee. It has the cream, the little like cereal crunch on the top. Oh, it's so good. Cocoa Pops. Oh, it brings you back to your childhood days. Mm, so good. I would definitely give this like a four and a half out of five. I love it. I love coffee. I'm a ridiculous coffee aficionado. This is this is very good. I have to say, they have done an impeccable job for here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Back to East, just fantastic. I love the cream cheese, like little uh, like sauce they put on there. Whatever it is, like, it's just good. I mean, like. It's not overly sweet, and the cocoa puffs they put on there, really awesome touch. I would say absolutely four and a half out of five. Fantastic. Five forty nine, a hundred percent worth it. Come here and check it out. You'll love it. You know what they say? When you're in doubt, when you come to a new world on how to drink a drink, yeah. when in doubt, pinky out. <laughs> and Batu watch. We have a special news update here from Batu. <laughs> Make sure you grab a spoon because the one thing we've noticed is take a look like your little cocoa puffs kind of get lost in the ice. You don't want to miss those. The cocoa puffs are where it's at with this little drink so grab a spoon on your way out of cat cat, cat sockets. All right so we have made our way deeper into the city of Batu because we need to check out Droid Depot. We haven't been here in a while and we found out that there's some new components that have arrived. Maybe for a very lovable, very particular R unit. I'm not gonna spoil it. Let's go in there and check it out. <laughs> Okay, so one of the first items that caught my eye on the way in, I was not expecting this, but they created an interactive remote control chopper. So if you're a fan of Star Wars Rebels, Bad Batch, you definitely know Chopper. This is awesome. I, I really love this one. I, I'm restraining myself today because I was like, man, I think we need all four of those pummels. <laughs> now I think we need Chopper. I haven't gotten to the uh, the special R unit component yet, so. <laughs> this may be a very expensive day in Batu. All right, so I found him. Check this out. We have the R2D2. Don't look at that. And what I like most about this is that it's metal. So something that they started doing here at Droid Depot is you can buy individual components to like update the the droid that you make here, which I think is really fun. So you can interchange them. You don't have to necessarily go back and build a whole new droid. So if you build an R unit. Can make R2D2. I mean, this is awesome. And again, it's metal. I really like that. I think what I like about this too is that it's all articulated, so these everything moves on here. So it's metal, everything moves, it's pretty rigid. Not bad. I'm telling you, it's an expensive day here in Batu. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I thought about asking it, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards. Stopping in the Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. There's lots of new merchandise that has just premiered here. We have to go check this out. There's some brand new wall art. There's even Darth Vader's helmet from The Force Awakens. I, there's a brand new lightsaber. My gosh. I mean, there's just so much going on here. Let's go check this out. So if you're a fan of wall art, they just came out with some brand new wooden signs that they have here in Doc Ondar's. They're all $49.99 each, and there's six total to collect are the Shadow Collective, the Imperial Insignia, the Sith Eternal Crest, the Knights of Ren, Darth Vader, and they even have a special one for Doc Ondo. I, that one's kind of cute. I kind of like that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I could see this on our wall, but still, you know, it's got a... Maybe we'll get one. I think this is the one thing in here that I'm like most excited about. So this is the Darth Vader melted helmet from Star Wars Force Awakens. So if you remember in the movie, Kylo Ren is speaking to Darth Vader's helmet. So it's kind of like he's, it's his little idol. They finally made a recreation of this. They haven't had one. And I've been looking for a while and they finally made this. I, I, this is a very cool addition to Doc Ondar's and something very unique because there's not a lot of replicas of these around in general. So this is 350 credits. 
It's 350 bucks. I, it's a lot, but this thing is huge. And like, I was looking at it. I asked if I could like pick it up, but it feels like it's metal. Like the base is a like a plastic, a plastic metal. But anyway, it's huge. And I guess the box is like massive. So, <laughs> all right. So not that I'm sitting here like really tapping, <laughs> but I, I think it is like a resin. But they've done a really good job because it, it audibly sounds like metal, and it does kind of have like a metallic feel to it. Just, like this is really cool. I, mean, I could just want one. Please. You can like hear the sound of I know. Like, and it, it's got like there's little holes in here. Like, how cool would that to be? Like, to put like a little LED light in there, you could make it like really dramatic. Oh, no. See, I'm trying to find ways of selling this. So, yeah, I need a pitch. <laughs> I need a pitch. What do you think? All right. So for working out, they have you covered here. There's a few new items. You have this like sit uh, themed short sleeve workout shirt. It's a little bit different. It reminds me of Darth Maul. I like that. And then you have this imperial long sleeve. This it seems like a cotton, but it's more of like a moisture wicking material. So this is kind of interesting. I mean, obviously. This is more appropriate for Florida, right? I mean, it's like it's like 98 degrees and 98 percent humidity outside right now. So I'm glad they have some like sport attire coming. In addition to all this awesome merchandise, they also came out with brand new legacy lightsabers. So on May the 4th, they had Luminara and Darth Ventress. Those are two that just premiered, but the brand brand new one is Darth Sidious. So for all you Palpatine fans and Dark Side fans, the Sith are covered. This one's really nice too because it's rechargeable. So it actually has like a plug-in cord and cable that comes with it, which I kind of like that. Plus too, it's like, it's super chromed out. I, I, I kind of like the like flashiness of that one. It's pretty awesome. So Kyle's gonna go meet Kylo. I haven't been able to do this in a long time. We always miss this show. So seeing Kylo and the stormtroopers out right now, this is pretty awesome. Now, you support the resistance. Reconsider your options, or regret your decision. We've all heard of the Ronto wrap, but have you heard of the Zuki wrap? It's a vegetarian op option of a Ronto wrap. It's not new, but it's new to us. We're gonna try it out today, see if it's delicious or not. But it's the pita bread still, but instead of the meat, you have a, a grilled zucchini with carrot slaw. You also have the chickpeas on there. Let's give it a try. For a vegetarian option, this is very good. It's also very juicy, as you can see in there. The zucchini has the crunch in there. The chickpeas and the slaw are astonishing on the flavor. That sauce on there is spicy, so if you're not into spice, don't get this option or ask for the sauce on the side. For a vegetarian option, I think this is very good. I would give it a four and a half out of five. The pita bread is also very good. It's light, it has a good crunch on the outside. So good. Yeah, so I've had several bites of this so far, and I have to say, like, I agree with everything you said. This is so good. I think it's a great, healthier option here in Batu. The spice level. It is intense. Like, it is, is very spicy. So yeah, if you're sensitive to spice, definitely don't get this, but like I said, if you're looking for something good, a little bit different, definitely on the healthier side, this is fantastic. Absolutely, I'd give this a four and a half out of five. This, this is great. All right, so we're gonna stop at the merch carts here in front of Rise the Resistance. There's some new shirts that came out. I think I may even try to sport one of these X-Wing helmets. I'm, I'm not optimistic. I don't think this is gonna go very well. It's very intense up here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have like a huge head. I can't, I, I can never get these things to fit. Too much volume. Uh, if you're part of the resistance crew. They do have this fun new shirt. Be the spark. Like fire. I need to get this because like I can never remember the saying. I always screw it up somehow. 
<laughs> we have really been loving the new Obi-Wan series. I think it's awesome to see Ewan McGregor again, Hayden Christensen returning as Darth Vader. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but this has been one of my favorite series yet. Loved every bit of it. And seeing this, this backstory or alternative story for Obi-Wan has just been so awesome. Like, you know, you feel bad for him. He's kind of like down and out and, you know, he's taking this like menial job. And well, anyway, I won't give, I won't give it away. But we did hear that they've come out with some special Obi-Wan merchandise, but it's not here on planet. So we're going to leave that to, we're going to head off, off planet. We're going to head to Keystone Clothiers down on Hollywood Boulevard and see if we can find some brand new Obi-Wan merch. Let's do it. I'm already glistening and shining, so I thought I need to add a little glimmer and shimmer to my day. All right, so we decided to stop at Good Eats, which is the food stand right out in front of Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular, because they have this insanely delicious looking funnel cake. It's melting fast, there's gold stuff on there, there's chocolate, there's powdered sugar. You know it's gonna be good. There's even little Oreos. This is right up your alley. This is your treat, Shanae. Yeah. Get into it. So I know we were doing Star Wars, but I walked by this thing and I just couldn't resist it. I shouldn't. I think I could get away with it being Star Wars, right? I mean, like, it's black, it's gold, it's the dark side, the Sith cookie. Do it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, well, let's try the final pick. Oh, yeah. It's a good funnel cake. I don't know what it is about me, but sometimes I get these like really wild cravings for a funnel cake. And this fits it. It's so good. I would give it a four out of five. It comes out warm, the soft ice cream on top. It's chocolatey goodness. Ooh, delicious. Well, we were doing okay. You know, we had the, the Zuki wrap, and so that was healthy. And of course we had to spoil our, our health consciousness there. <laughs> Let's try this out. That's very tasty, you know, it's a, it's a great little funnel cake. The ice cream's super good, it's very creamy. Yeah, I'd say this is probably like a four out of five. Definitely refreshing. The Oreo's a nice touch and so is like the gold sprinkles on there. It's a nice, it's a nice dish on a hot day, but you gotta eat it fast. <laughs> we have stopped into Keystone Clothiers. Of course, this is the Star Wars place to be here on Hollywood Boulevard. And I did only spot two items for Obi-Wan. I mean, the series just came out, so it doesn't surprise me, but they have t-shirts. So first up, you have this nice tan with the Obi-Wan on there. I like the color. It's pretty awesome. I like that. Kind of reminds me of like the Indiana Jones shirt that they do. Mm -hmm. Like it's a similar color of shirt. And then of course, Vader. You gotta have Vader. I'm really excited for this series. I'll be curious. Leave us a comment. Like, are you guys watching Obi-Wan? Are you excited for it? You like it? Let us know. I'm curious. All right, so I am finding the re-armored uh, Black Series Boba Fett helmet. Now, they've had these for like a little while, but they've replaced them. Uh, this replaces the Mandalorian helmet. Now, we got the Mandalorian version of this helmet that's in our little, little collections in my office. I, I actually really like these because I think they sell it for like a reasonable price point. So this is this one, the, the Boba Fett, is $139, and you get your annual pass discount if you have one which isn't that bad. But I think they do a pretty good job. And once it's like sitting on a shelf and you can kind of see the helmets, like you couldn't tell if it was really realistically, you know, between this and a really high end one, like maybe, but it'd be really hard pressed. Like I said, it's a reasonable price point. You can use it or you can put it in your collection and it looks cool on a shelf. So I think we're gonna have to pick this one up. It's going in the office. <laughs> well, everyone, I think that's going to do it from a very fun day here at Hollywood Studios, checking out Batu Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They had a lot to offer. They did. It was a fun day. I can't believe the whole new merch drop they've had. Ooh, the new Sidious merch. lightsaber, the Darth Vader helmet. I, I think we're going to have to come back and maybe get the Vader helmet. We're going to go home, plan out some space for all this stuff. Yeah. Bring your credit card, bring your checkbook, whatever it may be. It's going to be intense the next time you go to Batu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe watch out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Set a budget. You're going to need it. Oh, and they had so many <laughs> treats, too. They, they did. They, they oh, really loved that so uh, that cold brew. That, that was, was delicious. Awesome. Yeah. Was and so and the wrap. Yeah, the, the Zuki wrap. wrap. Yeah, I really loved that. I that think I might get good. that from now on. Like, yeah. I really enjoyed that one. It was a nice, like, healthier option. And, like, it had a ton of spice. Yeah, that was like, hot it was on the spice. Very, very spicy. But good. I enjoyed very it. Good. Yeah. If you guys liked the video, definitely make sure to hit like and subscribe. And as 
always, till next time, friends. Bye. Bye. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Shanae. I got a joke for you. Okay. What did Darth Vader say when he walked into a vegetarian restaurant? What did Vader say? I find your lack of steak disturbing. <laughs> okay, I got another one. Okay. What is R2D2 short for? What's it short for? Well, he has little legs. <laughs> <laughs>